Welcome to my video on circuit analysis. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to find the current through and the voltage across every resistor in this circuit. But before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Chris. I am the creator of all the videos here at Math Meeting. And if you need any extra help with your homework, uh, send me pictures to homework solutions at mathmeeting.com. My email is on the right hand side of the screen. Um, send pictures and I'll get back to you immediately with a quote. Or if you want tutoring, send me an email to live tutoring at mathmeeting.com and we can set something up. But let's get started right away with this example. All right, so in this example, we need to find the current through and the voltage across each resistor. And to do this, our first step is to find an equivalent circuit. So we need to simplify this circuit so there's an equivalent circuit with only one resistor. All right, so if we want to simplify this circuit so that there's only one resistor, uh, we need to use these two formulas that I wrote for you at the top of the screen. And if there's two resistors or two or more resistors that are in series, then we use this formula here on the left side of the screen. And the formula is the total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. In other words, we just add all of the resistors together. But if two or more resistors are in parallel, then we use this formula here on the right. And that's equal to one over uh, the total resistance or the equivalent resistance is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3, et cetera, et cetera, depending on how many resistors we have. So we're gonna use these two formulas uh, to simplify this circuit so that there's only one resistor left. And what I like to do is to start with the resistors that are the farthest away from the battery source. So we have a battery source over here of 24 volts and the resistors that are farthest away from this battery source are these two resistors over here on the right hand side of the screen. Um, these two resistors are in series. Because they're in series, we just need to add them together. We're gonna to use this formula here on the left hand side of the screen. So if we add them together, we're gonna to have three ohms plus 12 ohms, three plus 12 is equal to 15. So we can erase these two resistors on the right hand side of our circuit and after we erase these two resistors, we can place them with one equivalent resistor of 15 ohms. All right, so the 12 ohm and the three ohm resistor in series made this 15 ohm resistor. And now, once again, we want to simplify the resistors that are farthest to the right of our battery source. So I'm going to simplify these two resistors that are in parallel with each other. Uh, because they're in parallel with each other, we have to use this formula on the right hand side of the screen. And just to give myself a little bit more space, I'm going to erase these formulas here on the top. All right, so once again, we're gonna simplify these two resistors that are in parallel with each other. So we're gonna use our parallel resistor formula. And the equivalent resistance or the total resistance uh, for two resistors that are in parallel is equal to one over R1. R1 is equal to 10 ohms plus one over R2 which is equal to, R2 is equal to 15 ohms. So we have one over 10 plus one over 15, uh, which is equal to five over 30. Five over th 30 simplifies to one over six. So one over the total resistance is equal to one over six. So we know that the total resistance, we'll say the total resistance we know is equal to six ohms. So I can erase both of these resistors on the right hand side of our circuit and replace them with one equivalent resistor of six ohms. Okay, so we're almost finished simplifying this. So there's only one resistor left. Uh, the only thing we have to do now is simplify these three circuits that are in series with each other. All three of these circuits are in series with each other. Um, so the only thing we need to do is add them together to get our equivalent or total resistance. All right, so the total resistance for three resistors that are in series is just R1 plus R2 plus R3. So we have two plus six, two plus six is equal to eight, eight plus four is equal to 12. So if we add all of the resistors together, we have a total or a equ equivalent resistance of 12 ohms. So I'm going to erase all of these resistors that are in series 
and replace them with one equivalent resistor of 12 ohms. Okay, so now that we've simplified this circuit so that there's only one resistor, um, now we can find the total current running through the circuit. And we can use the formula of the voltage is equal to the current, which is written with the letter I, times the resistance, okay? So the voltage we know is 24 volts, and the, the resistance, the equivalent or total resistance is equal to 12 ohms. So we can plug that in, and we know that the current is going to be equal to the, the voltage, which is 24 volts, divided by the resistance, which is 12 ohms. 24 divided by 12 is equal to 2, so the current is going to be equal to 2 amps. All right, so we know that the total current running through the circuit is 2 amps, so we know that the current leaving the battery is equal to 2 amps, and we can use this information to find the current through and the voltage across every resistor in this entire circuit. So what I like to do is to keep going back to each diagram that we simplified. So if we go back one more diagram that we simplified, the circuit is going to look something like this. So we know once again that the total current is two amps, so the current leaving the battery is two amps. And we know from my last video that the current never changes for any resistor that's in series. So when this current goes through this resistor that's in series, we know that's not gonna change. So we know that the current going through this first resistor is also equal to two amps. So the current I1 is going to be equal to two amps. And we also know that the current going through this second resistor, which is also in series, isn't going to change. So the current going through this second resistor I2 is also equal to two amps. And I think you get the idea by now. Um, this current going through this third resistor is not gonna change because it's in series. It's also going to be equal to two amps. All right, so now that we've found the current through each resistor, now let's find the voltage across each resistor. And we can use the same formula as before. To find the voltage across resistor number one, the voltage across resistor number one is equal to the res uh, current of resistor number one times the resistance. All right, so we know that the voltage across one is equal to the current across or through one, which is two amps. So we have two amps for the current. We know that the resistance is equal to two ohms. So we gotta multiply it by two ohms. Two times two is equal to four. So the voltage across resistor number one is equal to four volts. All right, so now let's find the voltage across resistor number two. Uh, the voltage across two is going to be equal to the current of two amps. So we have a current of two amps multiplied times the resistance of six ohms. Multiplied times six ohms. Two times six is equal to 12. So the voltage across the second resistor is going to be equal to 12 volts. All right, and now let's do the same exact thing for our third resistor. We know that the voltage across the third resistor is gonna be the current, which is two amps. So we have two amps being multiplied by the resistance. We know the resistance is equal to four ohms. So two times four ohms is equal to eight. So the voltage across the last resistor, resistor number three, the voltage across resistor number three is going to be equal to eight volts. All right, so now that we've found the current through and the voltage across every one of these resistors, let's go back one more diagram when we were simplifying. All right, so let's recap what we already know. We know that the current going through resistor number one is equal to two amps. We know that the voltage across resistor number one is equal to four volts. And we also know that the current going through resistor number three is equal to two amps. And we know that the voltage across resistor number three is equal to eight volts. All of this we already know from the work we did before. All right, so now let's try and solve for these two resistors here on the right side of the circuit. All right, so how do we do this? Well, we know that the voltage leaving the battery is equal to 24 volts. And we know that once we go across this resistor, we have a four, four volt drop. So 24 minus four is equal to 20. So the voltage after that first resistor is equal to 20 volts which means that the voltage over here is also equal to 20 volts because we haven't 
across any resistors. All right, and we can do the same thing for the end of the circuit. Uh, we know that the, the voltage at the end of the circuit is equal to zero volts because the potential always goes to zero. And we know that there's an eight volt drop before we crossed that last resistor. So zero plus eight is equal to eight. So we know that we have a voltage of eight volts before we cross the third resistor. So we know that the voltage over here is also equal to eight volts because we have not crossed any resistor. If you don't cross any resistor, the voltage is going to stay the same. All right, now look what we have. Uh, we know that before we cross this resistor, we have a voltage of 20 volts. And then once we cross that resistor, it goes from 20 to eight. So we know 20 to eight is a difference of 12. So we know the voltage across this resistor is equal to 12. So we'll call this resistor four. The voltage across resistor four is equal to 12 volts. And the same thing's gonna happen for this resistor on the right. We know that we're starting with 20 volts. Once we cross the resistor, it goes to eight volts. 20 minus eight is equal to 12. We'll call this resistor number five. So the, re the voltage across resistor five is going to be equal to 12 volts as well. All right, so now let's find the current going through these resistors. And we can use the same formula. If we just rearrange the formula, we know that the current going through resistor number four is going to be equal to the voltage across four divided by the resistance of four. And we know that the voltage across four is equal to 12 volts. So we have 12 volts being divided by the resistance of four, which we know is 10 ohms. So 12 divided by 10 ohms. 12 over 10 is equal to 1.2. So we know that the current going through resistor number four is equal to 1.2 amps. And now let's do the same thing for resistor number five. All right, once again, the current through resistor number five is equal to the voltage across five divided by the resistance of five. And we know that the voltage across five is equal to 12 volts. So we have 12 volts being divided by the resistance of five, which we know is equal to 15. So we have 15 ohms as the resistance. 12 divided by 15 is equal to 0.8. So we know that the resistance, or sorry, the current through resistor number five is equal to 0.8 amps. And this totally makes sense because we started with a current of two amps and when it splits off into these two parallel resistors, we have one current of 1.2 and one current of 0.8. 1.2 plus 0.8 is equal to two. So the total current hasn't changed. It just splits and some of it goes down the left side and some of it goes down the right side. All right, so now let's go back one more diagram so we can completely solve the original circuit. All right, so now the only thing we have left are these two resistors. So once we solve those two resistors, we have completely solved our entire circuit. All right, so we know that the current going through the right side of these resistors in parallel is equal to 0 0.8, 0 0.8 amps. So we'll call this resistor number six. So the current through resistor six is equal to 0.8 amps. All right, and once again, these resistors are in series with each other. So the current doesn't change. So we'll call this resistor number seven. So the current through resistor number seven is also equal to 0.8 amps. All right, so now the only thing we have left to do is use our formula. So we know that the voltage across resistor number six is gonna be equal to the current across six or through six multiplied times the resistance of resistor number six. So this is going to be equal to the current, which is 0.8 amps. So the current is equal to 0.8 amps multiplied times the resistance. The resistance we know is three ohms multiplied times three ohms. 0.8 times three is equal to 2.4. So we know that the voltage across resistor six is equal to 2.4 volts. All right, so now let's move on to resistor number seven. We know that the voltage across resistor number seven is equal to the current of seven multiplied times the resistance of seven. Uh, this is equal to the, the current, which is 0.8. So we have 0.8 amps multiplied times the resistance. The resistance we know is 12 ohms multiplied times 12 ohms. 
0.8 times 12 is equal to 9.6. So we know the voltage across resistor number seven is equal to 9.6 volts, which makes sense because 9.6 and plus 2.4 is equal to 12. So the voltage across these two resistors are exactly the same as the voltage across this resistor. And now we've officially found the current through and the voltage across every single resistor in this original circuit. So I hope this gave you a better idea on circuit analysis and how to solve circuits. Um, check out my next video if you want to keep on learning. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate all, all of you guys who are supporting me making these videos, and I will see you in my next one.